How long were you with TBK? In the well. Um, two weeks. How did you get away? You never said. TBK usually went out every night after dark, but this one time it was different. We're at a crossroads, pretty Betty. But you get to decide how our story ends. I'm listening. I sense we're kindred spirits. Don't you? Yeah, yes, I feel the same way. That's why I'm giving you this choice. Dismember this body. Prove we're kindred. And you don't go back into the well ever. Refuse me. And you're next. And then what happened? He put on some classical music. And he came and stood behind me, close. And with him behind me like that, I did it. I did what he asked me to do. Dismembered the body. And he said I could go. That's it. There's no heroic escape. He told me that he knew then for sure that he and I were the same and that I had, I had proven myself and he respected me and the world would be more interesting with me in it. And that this act of dismemberment would be our secret binding us forever. Afterwards, I was just different, psychically dismembered, which I guess is, that's what he wanted. You're not dismembered. You did what you had to do to survive. Maybe. You know, sometimes I wonder, why am I still here in Riverdale? After everything that's happened to us, to this town, I mean, why not pick up stakes and go west, or at least to some town that's not cursed? Yeah. But then something always reminds me. The reason I want to save the soul of Riverdale, the reason why I bought my dad's house, it's not just because I want to live here. I want to raise a family here. That's what I'm fighting for. So what are you saying, Arch? I'm saying, when we get that pregnancy test at the drugstore tomorrow, whatever it says, I'm all in. Whatever you want to do, I'm here for you. I'm not going anywhere.